I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 5th of January. Cold Arctic outbreak. That's the big headline. And, of course, the big question is the possibility of snow on Thursday. So let's get right to it and talk about it. Here's a look at the uh, Skycam images this morning. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. Everybody in the teens, uh, I'm looking at my thermometer here, got 16.3 degrees Fahrenheit at 5 o'clock. Tuscaloosa showing 17. Huntsville, that's Memorial Parkway. They got 16 up there. And downtown Jasper at 16 degrees. That's the view coming from the King Building. Well, there you go. Uh, the Arctic trough continues over the east. It's going nowhere. That will deliver another shot of even colder air by Friday in the weekend. And, of course, during that transition on Thursday, there will be some chance of snow. Numbers around the nation, coldest centered right around International Falls, Minnesota, in our nation. But, again, up north, you can see the genesis of that new surge of cold air over parts of uh, Saskatchewan uh, with some minus 35s up there. We noted that Orr, Minnesota yesterday dropped to 40 below zero. It's tough up there. And we can thank our good friends up in the great north for sending us this. That old barbed wire fence up on the Canadian border will not hold it back. There's their numbers this morning. Haleyville, the cold spot at 12. Coleman, 14. Birmingham and Anniston, 16. And we'll be close to these numbers tomorrow morning. And understand, it's going to be colder Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's where we're really concerned about uh, cold weather issues. Watch warning map. Here comes your winter storm watches for the system that's going to bother us on Thursday. We've got winter storm watches up for parts of western Tennessee. That includes Memphis, western Kentucky, on up through uh, parts of the upper Midwest. There's the overall precipitation around the nation for the next five days. And uh, again, uh, the, the snow on Thursday is not going to be that heavy. This is not some big historic, uh, historic snowstorm. It will be fairly light. We all know that. The question is who gets how much and where. That's suggesting about a tenth of an inch of liquid or maybe one to two inches of snow. The uh, liquid to snow ratio will be interesting to watch also due to the Arctic nature of this air mass. Sometimes that will impact that. This is the uh, snow accumulation outlook from HPC tomorrow, the bullseye over north Missouri and Iowa. And then on uh, Thursday, you can see the circle is up north of us. But understand, this is for the possibility of at least four inches. We don't expect that here at all. Uh, and that's the reason this, Alabama's not in that. It should not be. And I'll show you my initial snow forecast map here in just a second. Let's look at raw modeling here. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today. The feature that brought the flurries yesterday is on by, so we'll be uh, sunny and cold today with highs in the mid-30s. Many spots have a chance of getting above freezing today for just a brief time, not a long time. So uh, that's the deal. All right, let's go look at uh, noon on Thursday. Let's go right to modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the 06 Z run. And uh, you can see the deeper moisture will be south of U.S. 278 on this run. And this is hinting at maybe one to two inches of snow for Birmingham, uh, if this is correct. Of course, this is all modeling. Uh, the NAM is drier. Uh, this is noon on uh, Thursday with the North American Mesoscale model. Deeper moisture to the south and to the north. And there might be some credibility to that. I, I, I really think as we look at our forecast, we're going to take that into account and a quick peek at the uh, RPM that we see internally here. Uh, that's suggesting, uh, again, uh, the, the, the critical thickness values look too far north. I'll just say that uh, at this point. Uh, but no doubt, South Alabama could see just a cold rain from this. Uh, but having you know been staring at this stuff for quite a while, that's what we're thinking right now. Uh, this is potential. Uh, Birmingham. Anniston, Gadsden, Tuscaloosa, North, the dusting to one inch. Could get the ground white, absolutely. The infrastructure is cold, the ground is cold, and that even that could create some icy travel in spots. The better chance of getting, I think, the one to two inch snow, and there's just a chance, would be south of Birmingham in that zone between Birmingham and Montgomery. Uh, that seems to be where we'll have that little magic zone of the deeper moisture and the uh, critical thickness values cold enough for snow. And then below Montgomery, it could be just a cold rain. We'll see a wintry mix. I do think they could see a few snowflakes down there, but uh, more than likely it's going to be a more rain than snow south of Montgomery. So uh, you can see we're clearly not forecasting this to be a major winter storm. People up north wouldn't even think about this as a big deal. 
but around here, we don't get snow that much, so uh, that's where our current thinking is. And, of course, that is subject to change. We all know that. All right, Friday, that's by the new surge of cold air drops in, a big old 1,048 millibar high. Windy, cold, uh, temperatures struggling to get out of the teens. Uh, Single-digit wind chills Saturday, even colder. Uh, same deal. I'm not so sure we see 20 on Saturday. Uh, brutally cold. And then Sunday, you can see that uh, wave will have passed us by that uh, brought that new surge. And look at uh, the thickness values on Sunday. Uh, both Saturday and Sunday morning, we have potential for single-digit lows, especially if we have snow cover on the ground. Otherwise, the lows will be right around 10 degrees. If there's a snow cover, lows could be in the 0 to 5 degree range. Uh, and again, this is pipe bursting, dangerous type cold weather. So uh, you know what we've talked about. Just check on folks that don't have adequate heating. Uh, you know, wives, bring in your husbands. Uh, this it's very cold. And then uh, Monday of next week, we start to moderate. A chance we'll reach the low 40s. And then Tuesday, uh, highs in the 40s. Next wave comes into the uh, from the uh, west as moisture comes back. And that could mean some rain by the middle of next week. Uh, really, uh, the mid-month system is going to be the next major uh, rain producer, we think. Look at the trough. And if that's right, that's all rain. Classic El Nino-looking uh, storm in the Gulf. But at that point, if this is right, of course, it's all wet. And that could be a pretty heavy rain event. And then on the 20th, uh, we've still got that big ridge pumped up over the western part of the continent and the downstream trough, active southern branch. That looks very uh, tricky right there. But, again, there's no way we can be specific and that anything out there beyond seven days, you know what that is. It's out there in voodoo country. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video will be here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.